So what I would consider another hidden gem inside of SolidWorks is the sketch picture tool. So we have a lot of customers that need us to put logos and things like that onto parts. And you can burn a lot of time sitting there using the sketch tools and splines, tracing someone's logo, especially if it's complicated. Um, sketch picture tool can save you a lot of time. It's not perfect, but it can get you 95% of the way there. And then you just have to do a little cleanup work. So I'm going to talk over top of the video here and uh, explain how this works. So I picked the front plane and I start a sketch on it. And, um, and then I just always search for sketch picture. Um, it's buried in the menu somewhere. Uh, and then you pick that and uh, it's going to prompt you to pick the image that you want. Um, I always do low resolution, doesn't seem to make much of a difference. Uh, you can go through and scale the image and get it the size that you want and everything. That's over on the left there for you. Um, but the key is hit that little arrow to the right. And then uh, what you do is you use that dropper tool uh, at the top there and you just kind of pick the different color regions of the, the part. Then you hit begin sketch and the key is you have to hit apply after each one of those. Now, if you've got a complicated logo, you will be doing this for a little while, but believe me, it's way faster to get a start part you doing this than to trace it manually. So um, just going through and you know grabbing the center of the R, um, apply, uh, we got a couple more R's to do. And then once this is done, uh, you hit that green check and it spits out a, a, a line and or, uh, it spits out a 2D sketch for you. Um, and you can take and use that to extrude or to cut whatever you need to do. So um, this is a real time saver of a tool uh, if you're doing anything involving logos. So absolutely keep this one in the back of your mind for future reference. Okay, well, that is my presentation. Uh, I appreciate your time and sticking with me here to the end. Um, we covered a lot of ground today. Um, you know, definitely hit me up and I'd be happy to share this slide deck with you. Um, again, Paul DeWise, and uh, you can see on the screen here is my email address. So, you know, shoot me an email or uh, I'm extremely active on LinkedIn as well. So please uh, reach out and uh, connect with me on LinkedIn and, you know, slide into my DMs. I'd be happy to send you the, the slide deck that way as well. Um, <clears throat> you know, also, I'm, I'm always happy to answer questions or give feedback on design. So, you know, if you're working on something and uh, it's going to be 3D printed and you're looking for someone to be a second set of eyes, you know, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I do a lot of that. Um, and also one last shameless plug, check out our website, uh, forerunner3d.com. Um, it's got a ton of great information. We do a lot of testing and a lot of R and D and we publish everything to our website. So there's great design guides for all the technologies we talked about today, um, with a lot of content that you're just not going to find anywhere else. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for your time and attention and, uh, look forward to hopefully hearing from you.